my first car. Actually, I think it was a, uh, it was obviously in Australia at the time. I think I got a Proton Savvy, if, if that's right. It's a little, little tiny little car. I wasn't too pleased about, but I suppose when you're 16, 17 and your parents go out and get yourself a car, you just have to be grateful for, for what you're given. So yeah, it wasn't the great, greatest of cars. Um, but yeah, look, you know what it's like when you get your license, when you're your own, your own fellow, it, it, it was a good feeling. This car of every own. Um, obviously the BMW M4 through Hippo. Uh, <laughs> look, to be honest, um, obviously I've got kids, so I've always sort of had your bigger sort of family cars. Um, I did treat myself a couple of years to a, a Mercedes C43. Uh, obviously that's quite similar to, to the M4, so. Uh, other than that, generally, like I said, with having three young kids, I've never really got myself a nice, a, a nice sort of sports car, so it, it's, it's really enjoyable being able to drive one at the moment. Worst car? Um, <laughs> I was going to say, um, try to think. Probably my granddad's car. He's had a Toyota for about 35 years, I think, so. Um, He's still got it now, he still looks after it, it's, it's still well run, so that's probably the worst car I've driven. Actually just seen one over there, I think the Bentley four wheel drive, so. <laughs> yeah. um, oh look, I suppose, yeah. Well then again, Lamborghini, it's my, my uh, son's uh, favorite car, keeps telling me, Dad, it's not that expensive for them. I'm like, <laughs> you'll find out one day, son. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, you know, your Bentleys, your Lamborghinis, they're always, I suppose, everybody's dream car.